the definition of um, a service, so the definition of a load balancer, is defined by our labels. That means <clears throat> when I look at um, the description for service RNG, it says there is a selector app equal RNG, which means send traffic to all the pods that have app equal RNG. So what I want to show is that I can change um, the these labels, and by changing these labels, I will change the configuration of the load balancer. So demonstration, I'm going to do uh, kubectl get pods. Let's see. I want to see all my RNG pods. So that pod, for instance, I'm going to look at its logs. So kubectl logs uh, dash dash tail one dash dash follow. So you see, it's it's handling traffic basically. Now I'm going to remove the app equal RNG label from that pod. So I do kubectl um, label um, pod RNG etc. App minus. That's how I tell you to remove a, a label. When I do that, you see immediately the logs stop. The pod is not receiving traffic anymore. So this is showing that the the, the definition of a service is um, is provided by the set of labels uh, on the pods. This is quite powerful because it means that as a developer without being aware of how do I set up a load balancer or how do I configure a load balancer, how do I write a configuration file for a load balancer, etc., etc. I can change um, the, the backends used by the load balancer without having to touch the, the load balancer. All I have to do is manipulate these labels. So we're going to do something uh, along these lines. So let's see. So instead um, of <clears throat> in, instead of uh, just using the label app equal RNG, I want to have a special label um, to uh, to change whether the pod is uh, receiving traffic or not. So first, if I look again at my list of pods here. I see that I have one more pod uh, that appeared. Remember earlier, I had three pods with label. Uh, I mean, sorry, I, I, I had. Uh, let me rewind a little bit. I had one pod for corresponding to the deployment, and I had three pods corresponding to the demon set. Now I have four pods suddenly. So why is that? That's because if we look here at the age of the pods. I see that there is a pod that is like 80 seconds old. There is a pod that kind of magically appeared without me doing anything. Well, in fact, I did something. I removed the label from a pod. And when I removed the label from a pod, immediately a replacement pod was created. Let's see why this happened. This happened because if we look really closely at the definition of a daemon set, the daemon set says we want one pod like that to exist uh, on each node of the cluster. One pod like that, um, in, in fact, the, def the, the exact definition is not we want one pod like that, is we want one pod with that specific set of labels uh, to exist on each node of the cluster. So when I removed the label RNG, the daemon set uh, thought, oh, I, th there is no longer a matching pod on that node, so I need to recreate one. Um, I'm going to illustrate that with, uh, with the deployment. So this is the pod created by the deployment. If I uh, do a kubectl describe deployment RNG. 
I will see a selector here saying app equal RNG and replicas one desired. So again, if I look at, let's say, the, the naive definition of a, of a deployment is I want n pods with that template running on my cluster. But in fact, the exact technical definition is not I want n pods with that template. It's I want n pods matching that selector. I want n pods matching app equal RNG. So if I remove the label app equal RNG, suddenly the deployment feels like the, the conditions are not met anymore. And so, okay, you want one pod with app equal RNG, but since you just remove that label from the pod, now we're down to zero uh, pods uh, with app equal RNG, and then the deployment recreates a replacement pod. So that's why um, here I end up with an extra uh, pod RNG, this one, the, the, the newest one, because I removed the label from another pod, so the daemon set had the impression that the pod disappeared. It's exactly as if I had terminated or deleted the pod. The pod is still there, but the label is not there anymore. And so from the perspective of the daemon set, it's as if the pod had disappeared. 